What's up guys, I am the author of Proofboxing Software and I just thought I would do a quick video to show you some of the features and upcoming features that I plan to do with the software. So right, let's just jump into it really quickly. On the right, this big white block will be the, all the debug so information, so any areas that it may occur, anything that's happening will all be printed over here. Don't worry about that for now, but if there is any errors, you may need to copy and send that to me, so just try not to freak out with that. Right, the target game window, right. So now. This is very flexible software, I'd like to think. So we can multi-box literally anything we type in here. Um, I even multi-boxed Notepad earlier, so if, if you're into that type of stuff, by all means do that. But for this demonstration, we're going to multi-box World of Warcraft. And this is very sensitive, case-sensitive, space-sensitive, everything like that. This name has to be exactly the name of the title of the window, if that makes sense. So if I were to multi-box Twitch, I would type it exactly like that, with the capital T and everything like that. Right, now we're going to move on to the WoW management section. Uh, the number of games we'd like to run is 5, so we're just going to do that for now. We then set our path. I already have mine loaded, and it will save it automatically, so you only have to do this once. But I'm just going to do it for you guys just as a demonstration purpose. So I just find my WoW.exe, which is right here, and then it will say saved and successfully loaded. Awesome. Now you may hit start games, and it'll open 1 through 5 of the games. Um, this is really just dependent on your hardware. Once this is done, it will rename them all to 1 to 5, and we may now open our resizing window tab. Right, this is a very cool part, um, so we can move these shapes around, freak with them, you know, make them bigger, make them smaller, whatever we want to do. And then once we're happy, we hit the resize button, and it will uh, move the shapes around, move your, your games around. Obviously, if you leave your mouse over any one of these shapes, it will tell you which window it is. So we need to find this one, which is window 1. And if I just made this look really weird for you guys real quick, as you can see, this window 1, and it stretches very strangely. Um, you can save this layout if I hit the save button, but I, this is a horrible layout. I wouldn't suggest playing like this. So I'm going to load in a preset layout that I do have right here. I'm going to hit open, and it will correct our shapes for us. Let me just hit resize and everything looks beautiful again. And then we may talk about the login feature, right? So this is by no means the the, the final product of the login feature. Um, this is just pur purely for me uh, to log in and log out of my accounts really quickly. Um, I am working on a far more cryptic way of storing accounts. So that, like I said, not the final product. This is completely use at your own risk. Basically, it stores your passwords and username in plain text in a text file. So it's not the safest thing out there, I must admit, but if you'd like to use it for convenience, by all means do it at your own risk. I, I repeat, at your own risk. So I'm just going to click this real quick and you'll see it log all my accounts in for me. Um, we are not playing on live, we are playing on a war main server, Insta80, um, I think it's called Blackrock, I believe. Um, yeah. Right, now when we're in, all our characters have loaded in, you'll see all our hours from 2, 3, 4, and 5, and our main one. Now if we click on any one of these and we just walk around in it, nothing normal happens, everything beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But now if we alt-click on any one of these windows, it will switch it out for our main one. So this will be our second window, that'll be our first window, and we can do this to any hours we want, swap it out, and everything like that. If we jump back to our main one, it'll resize them all beautifully again. Right, um, now if we jump to our key binding section, um, this is works just as you think. Press uh, let's let's say Q. We'd like to add Q, F, T, and G because we like to put snake traps down. I guess right. Add them up. Um, actually, I like I want to add two because two is my follow macro. So if I push two, you'll see all my characters start following me. Um, right. So let's push Q and you'll see they all get buffed up. I think I pushed F. Yeah. So then all of them will die, which is kind of funny. Um, I don't think I did. Oh, I did do two. Look at me. And we can put some snake traps down. Uh, a whole bunch of them. Right, so that's kind of the key binding. It works just as much as you would think it would. Um, however, the assist key is basically the key, your target key. I, I think of it as, as a target key. So if I were to have, let's say, I, I put one as my assist key, right? And I hit save. And now on all my other tunes, let me just jump to another window real quick. Uh, the assist key is one. Right, so this will assist my main guy and target whatever he's targeting. So this is this isn't uh, a core function. You may decide to use it or not, but I think it helps a lot. So it just basically every time I press a key, it automatically targets what I'm targeting on all my tunes. I think it, it helps me a lot. So yeah, that's completely up to you guys. Um, the key modifiers I am working on, push macros I'm working on, and the mouse cast is almost done. It is a bit buggy at the moment, so I'd rather not showcase that. Um, I do do definitely plan on finishing that off, and once I am finishing off, I will then 
uh, probably start selling it as a first version, as the better version. I'll probably sell it. I believe I'm selling them with for twelve dollars once off payment. You'll get a license key and you may use it for as ever long as you want. You don't have to worry about any subscriptions or anything like that.